We're looking to take the integral from 1 to 5 of x squared plus 1 all squared. So this looks like a chain rule for a derivative, which makes me think it should be u sub for an antiderivative. So if we get started with u sub, we're going to call u what's being manipulated. So x squared plus 1. We're going to take the derivative of that, du dx. Derivative of x squared plus 1 is just 2x. And then we bring the dx up to get du by itself. And then looking to do the substitution, we know we have u squared. And if we think about du, we have dx, but we're missing 2x. So this cannot be a u sub problem. Missing 2x implies it is not u sub. It's fine to be off by 2, but we cannot be off by an x term. So it's not a u sub, which is a bummer because that means we're going to have to do some algebra to get rid of what looks like a chain rule. So I need to switch gears and think about algebra. I'm going to do some side work down here instead. Instead of u sub, we're going to do some squaring. We know 5 squared is 5 times 5, 6 squared is 6 times 6. So x squared plus 1 squared must mean it's x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 1. Squaring just means you multiply it by itself. So I'm going to square this out to actually figure out what's in the integrand. So first I have x squared times x squared, which is going to be x to the 2 plus 2, which is 4. My outer I have x squared times 1, which is going to give me a 1x squared. My inner is 1 times x squared or 1x squared. And then my last 1 times 1 is 1. So I get x to the 4th plus I have 2x squared plus 1. And now I can rewrite this integral. So it's not like if u sub doesn't work, you can't do it. It just means you got to actually do the algebra to multiply it out or square it out in this case. So we're really taking the integral from 1 to 5 of x to the 4th plus 2x squared plus 1 dx. And now we need to integrate each term, and then we'll plug in our upper bound minus our lower bound. So thinking about each term, the antiderivative of x to the fourth, add 1, you'll have 1 over 5, x to the 5. Antiderivative of 2x squared, I'm going to have 2 over my power was 2, so 2 plus 2 is, or 2 plus 1 is 3, x to the 3. Antiderivative of 1 is going to be 1x, and we would normally have a plus c, but here we're going to do an evaluation bar since we have bounds. So fundamental theorem of calculus says plug in your upper bound minus your lower bound. So I'm going to do 1 fifth of 5 to the fifth plus 2 thirds of 5 to the third plus 5, replacing all those x's with the upper bound, minus, I'm going to plug in the lower bound as well. And I would do this separately on my calculator personally, um, just so that you can do it piece by piece, and if you make a mistake, you have less to fix. But I would re replace all those x's with 1's, so I'd have 1 fifth times 1 to the fifth, plus 2 thirds times 1 to the third, plus 1. So I would plug in just my upper bound, so just plugging in this term with the 5's. So 1 fifth of 5 to the fifth, plus 2 thirds of 5 to the third, plus 5. You might need to put those fractions in a parentheses for your calculator to give you 713.3 repeating. Minus, when you plug in 1 to the integral, or the antiderivative, you get 1.86 repeating. And so subtracting the two, the net area under this curve is 711.46 repeating. So not a u sub problem, just means we have algebra to do before we can take the antiderivative. We put an evaluation bar instead of a plus c, and then we grab our calculator and plug in our upper bound minus our lower bound to get our final answer.